Hey guys, it's me, it's Hakeem Isler. I'm here with Shihan Dana Abbott. He is a legend when it comes down to Kenjitsu. He's going to be working with us today, showing us some valuable drills that we can turn into some very important skills. Stay tuned. Good afternoon, my name is Dana Abbott. And when you deal with skills and drills, every weapon produces its own skill factor. Therefore, the swordsmanship, you keep it very, very simple. So instead of trying to work with two people to begin with, you learn how to stand correctly and your focus. For example, when we start first working with swordsmanship, the first skill is called keyhole. Back to the basic. And it's basically five strikes. These five strikes consist of a head shot, hand shot, stomach shot, leg shot, and a thrust to center mass. And if you can perfect this, then you have a good strong foundation to springboard from to start learning better technique. You want to make sure that you're standing taller because if you're standing like a wrestler, you couldn't swing and cast like a swordsman. So you stand tall, you bring the sword out, and basically you lift it above your head about where it's about parallel to the floor here. It's a focal point. And then you make a strike, it usually comes down where it's parallel off the ground again, just because we need a focal point, or we'll be all over the place. So, let me show you what Keyhole looks like, and... Men! This is what is taught to the swordsman for generations. After someone has practiced this for an hour or two or three or a year, depending on how much you, time you put in, that will create a nice strong base to work on. Then, after everybody has their foundation in and they know what to do, then you can go one on one. And then you won't get hurt as much. Now, of course, back in Japan, we use wood. You make one mistake, you'll feel it. You spar with bamboo, but you get hit with that four or five times, everything starts giving away. We develop the action flex equipment here and the softer weaponry so you can practice skills and drills without pain or injury associated with a traditional weapon. So what happens is, is that this here has a patented piston system inside where you can just feed them as hard as you want. For example, stand there. You notice that I struck them pretty hard. You have to remember this is made for that. Now here's how I want you to look at using the equipment. Just imagine we're going to juggle. Do we start off with Razor blades or machetes, or we start off with bean bags. <laughs> and then after you get your hand eye coordination down, then you can go to a little bit more and a little bit more. So when you stay with a bone stuff, you don't need all the protection. So you can go back and forth on your skills and drills without making a mistake. And when you do make a mistake, which is a learning experience, you won't limp away from the school, which is very, very nice. <laughs> now, a lot of times, someone grabs a sword like this, go ahead and hold that for example, and I come over here, there's a lot of ways you can manipulate the, the blade, and you see me do that with all the beginners, but as a general rule, when you cross swords, you really don't touch it, because it's like Wing Chun Kung Fu, but if you, they touch your arm, they know where it's going to go, so you keep it about this far distance away, so when I come in for the shot, for example, Kote, or Kote, Ski. And we go after the five basic shots, to the head, to the hand, to the stomach, center mass, and of course to the legs. So one isn't too hard to hit, two or three of them isn't too hard to hit, but when you have to go with, you know, what's, what they're gonna hit next, it becomes more difficult. But the cool thing about it is, in the shortest amount of time, you'll be able to do all the skills and drills because your eyes pick up with it and you're not worried about getting hurt. 
Because if we, I remember us practicing with wood over in Japan. You, sometimes you went a little bit and you get hit. With this, you can do whatever you want. But remember, it doesn't hurt any less with your eyes closed. <laughs> it doesn't. But this allows it, so when you do close your eyes and you do get hit, you just keep practicing and practicing and practicing until your skills become seated into your rote memory. And then from there, you're in my play. Well, that is Sheehan Dana Abbott, ladies and gentlemen. You see this wealth of knowledge, how he just did that off the cuff. And if you ever get an opportunity to train with him or to purchase some of the action flex, you should do it. I just got whacked with it. I'm okay, I'm still standing here. Get your drills, cement it so that it can then develop the skills. Remember, the drill is not the skill. The drill helps you develop the skill. I'm Hakeem Isler. Until next time, I'm out.